we're gonna check out this new keyboard. I just want to thank Wormy for sending this out. It's WK61, the Lavender Keyboard. Now they did add some special stuff into it. They added sound damping into the board. So if you want to use my code, Josh Tech Gamer, and to get a discount, I did ask him when is this gonna be released. Is this already available? Um, I will let you guys know in the comment. So we're gonna do an unboxing, check it out. But real quick, when I did open it, they did come with these extra custom keycaps you can add for accent. So these are pretty cool. So I will actually show you those in a minute because I want to put them on the board. So um, yeah, my camera keeps turning off every time I keep moving around. So the whole time the camera wasn't recording. So I don't know why it does that. So here's the board. Uh, you guys get instructions and you get a keycap puller and a switch puller and a cable. Just in case you don't have any custom cables. The instructions are pretty easy. There also is software. So if you guys are RGB lovers out there, this is the keyboard to get. So this is a pretty good keyboard for $45. So yeah, this is $45. They added sound damper between the metal plate. So it does sound, it does, it does sound, it does feel heavier. I really do like the purple. Honestly, that purple looks pretty freaking dope. But you could also change out the keycaps. This is also hot swappable. Uh, this is a PBT case, putting keycaps of RGB lovers. So yeah, plenty of RGB. Let's plug it in and check it out. This right here is the Wormy WK61 that I did mod. Now we're gonna do a before and after test. I will show you before they put foam in. I have videos of that and we'll do an after on that one. But this is the Tiffany Blue with the Matrix keycaps. This is not from uh, their company. This is from a different company, Matrix. So let's plug it in. And let's check this out. All right, guys. Oh, man. Look at that RGB. So it looks really good, honestly. Um, so you could go to your template or you can go to your, you know, your software that I already have. And you could change it. Uh, you could add, you could lock the key, lock the windows. You could do the brightness, uh, F and press brightness plus. And then you could dim it, see? So I like it that you can adjust the brightness and the speed, and then if you want to turn it down. That's why it has those there to tell you what the functions do. So yeah, see, and the camera turned off again. So this is the manual. Um, just do a sound test. Let's unplug it, and we're gonna do a little sound test right now. So you guys can hear, this is what it sounds like. Uh, we'll kind of move it over a little bit. So this is what it sounds like with uh, dampening foam in it, and we're gonna do a before and after. I already know there's a big difference, so I already know. There we go. Yeah, it sounds really good. Now the switches, you could lube or you could hot swap it. So these are the red switches. And if you guys want to hot swap these out, you can do that. Just grab it and bam. These are not tactile, these are, I think these are linear. So that's what it sounds. So if I lube it, it'll sound a lot better. Yeah, you can just lube the stabs, fix the stabs a little bit. Um, put foam in the bottom. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't need it. I bet if I lube the switches, we'll actually do a separate video of lubing the switches. So let's check out these keycaps. Now these come with it. We're going to add these on here and we're going to swap them out. I like the light purple, but we're going to try dark purple because it goes with my desk pad too. Okay, looks pretty good. I like the deep purple. Um, actually, we're going to switch it all out. Oh, okay. So it doesn't come with all the keycaps on the edge. It just comes with certain ones. So if you want to like 
add some accent to it, you can do that. So that's pretty cool. I thought they were going to send me all of them, but no, they don't. Let's plug it back in. All right, that looks pretty cool. It's got the little uh, the little logo of their company and stuff. So yeah, I kind of like that, honestly. That looks pretty dope. I don't know. That's kind of feel like it's misplaced. So maybe we'll just switch it back. Thing. So let's take apart the board and show you guys what they did to it. You can lube the switches. So this is my this is my keyboard. That's mod. This is mod. This is me after lubing the switches, damping the foam. See? That was a little over lube. So that's what it'll sound like. And it'll sound really good. Let's take off the keycaps. Um, this is might this might take me a while. Because we're gonna take off the keycaps. We're gonna check the board out. This thing is awesome. I'm telling you guys, I love it. We're going to get my wow stick. Well, it's not really a wow stick, but you know, I'll put the link down below for it. Let's see. Yeah, we're good, we're good. So yeah, uh, let's just uh, take it apart. Uh, just wondering what this is. This is the thing just to put your screws in and stuff, so. Even if you don't want to use these switches, um, you can use any switches you want. Well, certain switches. Wait, they lubed the stabs. They did, there's pre-lube in the stab. Did they pre-lube these too? I only ever made them being pre-lubed. Wormy, you guys are, and the price is still the same. This is the thing, guys. They, did, they add a little extra and they still, I mean, they, yeah, it's a lot heavier. So yeah, they did, oh wow, it's silicone. So they didn't add foam. I'm sorry, guys, they added silicone. They did lightly lube the stabs. Uh, I could probably clip them and maybe lube them a little more, but yeah. Add a little foam in the bottom. There's the, um, so yeah, guys, there it is right there. And then, like I said, these are, uh, I'm gonna put this in there. Like I said, this is a budget keyboard. So if you don't have a lot of money and you want to get like a nice 65% keyboard and you use my code, man, you guys are set. You know, change out the keycaps. If you don't want to use the keycaps, they sell other keycaps or a different companies. I'll put matrix down below you if you want to get those. So I'll use my code too. And boom, you got a keyboard for under a hundred bucks. Man, I, this is why I like budget keyboards. Because people out there don't have a lot of money, especially in the world today with everything so expensive. Yeah, guys, there it is, man. This is the Wormy. $45. I don't even think they upped the price. They, I don't think they did. So they could they could have added more money for it. So you guys have to pay more, but they didn't. Shout out to them, man. They did a great job on this. Definitely. All right, guys, that's about it. So yeah, we got the PPT, PPT pudding keycaps. We got the red switches, uh, stabilizers, the plate, that's the plate, and then you got the silicone between the plate and the PC hot swap, and then the bottom is the transparent. So pretty much, um, yeah, I'm very impressed with it. So yeah, just load the switches, you know, and honestly, this is what it sounds like after you mod it. Yeah, I kind of like that sound. So I'm probably going to be lubing the switches and um, probably doing the stabs. And then we could do, I'll do that for a separate video and stuff. So uh, if you guys want to get any of these boards, their links will be down below. Um, if I have any other, uh, if I get any other feedback on it, I'll put it in the uh, comments and stuff. So yeah, let's switch it out again. Because we're going to be trying this soon. I'm going to be trying Fortnite right after this and seeing how it is yeah all right guys thanks for watching josh tech gamer and i will check you guys later